Because of humanity's consumerism and disregard for the environment, Earth has become a wasteland full of garbage in the 22nd century. All of the remaining survivors fled in the Axiom Starliner, leaving behind trash-compacting robots to clean up the planet. Unfortunately, the cleanup is a complete failure, and 700 years later, there is only one robot left, called Wally. Wally works while listening to music and keeping a roach as company. Whenever he finds something interesting, he brings it back to his home, which he built inside an old garbage lifter. His collection includes an old movie, and watching it makes him want to hold hands with someone he cares about. Every night, or whenever there is a sandstorm, Wally transforms into a cube and sleeps on his own shelves. After having some issues with a fire extinguisher, Wally uses his laser to cut open a fridge and is surprised to find a plant inside. He slips it into a boot and walks home, where he notices something new. A small red dot appears unexpectedly on the ground. Wally begins following the moving light around, but the dot soon multiplies, and Wally realizes the lights are caused by an incoming rocket. He rushes inside a hole to hide while the rocket lands, then releases a modern model named Eve before departing. Eve immediately starts flying around. Wally develops a crush on her right away and follows her everywhere, though he still gets scared whenever Eve shoots at something because she heard a noise. The roach isn't as afraid and approaches Eve, who shoots at it before realizing it's a harmless creature and befriending it. Eve can't stop giggling at the roach walking on her body, which makes Wally laugh as well. When Eve hears him, she shoots, and Wally only manages to save himself by transforming into a cube. Eve arrives to check on him, and when her scanner confirms he's nothing more than a cleaning robot, Eve ignores him and continues her search. Wally does not give up and continues to follow her around, attempting to impress her with gifts and tricks but failing. A sandstorm appears nearby at that time. Eve starts to panic, but Wally quickly drags her to his house. He then proceeds to show her all of the cool things he has, and Eve knows how to use a few of them, such as making a flame appear on a lighter. When Wally shows her his favorite movie, Eve records it and then attempts to imitate Wall-E's moves. This causes Eve to accidentally push Wally against the wall, breaking him, but Wally is unconcerned because he has plenty of spare parts to repair himself. Wally then tries to impress Eve by showing her the plant. This immediately causes her to grab the plant and place it inside her body before entering capsule mode. It turns out that proof of plant life was her goal. Wally becomes desperate and tries everything he can think of to wake her up including leaving her out in the sun to charge and even taking her out on dates, but nothing works. Wally eventually gives up and returns to work, only pausing to look at the lighter to remember her time with Eve. A rumble draws Wall's attention. The rocket is back, and it's taking Eve with it. Wally dashes to the rocket and grabs the railing so he can accompany it. Wally is amazed by everything he sees as the rocket reaches outer space. They eventually locate Axiom, who is hiding in a galaxy far, far away and a swarm of cleaning robots receive the rocket to clean everything of potential contamination. Mo, a small robot, tries to clean Wally, but when other robots take Eve away, Wally begins to follow them, leaving a trail of mud behind. This means Mo will start following him as well. They reach a corridor where Wally discovers the truth about humanity's current state. They've all become fat and lazy, and they move around on floating chairs, their eyes never leaving the screen. The management of the ship is handled entirely by robots, from babysitting to cooking. The presence of Wally draws John's attention and causes him to fall off his chair. Mary moves back, which causes her to stop looking at the screen and instead explore the world around her as if for the first time. Captain McRae is also a slacker who never gets out of his chair, so Wally hides under the desk to watch him go through the tedious routine of checking the system. After making the daily announcements to the populace, McRae finally wakes Eve up and discovers she has a positive result. This never happened, and when McRae presses the plant button on his panel, a video begins playing immediately. The President of Earth appears on the screen and explains that a positive result means the robots have discovered plant life on Earth and can return. The control panel expels a manual, which McRae examines for instructions, and while he's busy, Wally approaches Eve, who is surprised to see him and quickly orders him to hide. McRae activates a robot arm to retrieve the plant, but when Eve opens her body, she discovers it has vanished. When Wally finally approaches McRae, he shakes his hand and leaves dirt on the captain's fingers, prompting McRae to send him to be cleaned. Once the robots have left, McRae places the dirt on the scanner to be analyzed. 
He is surprised by how much he learns about Earth, so he keeps himself busy by asking the AI a lot of questions. Eve and Wally arrive at the repair department, where Eve is forced to use capsule mod hardware. Wally nearly receives the same treatment, but he avoids the arms and instead receives a makeover from a faulty beauty assistant. Wally is then placed in a cage while Eve receives maintenance treatment. Wally misinterprets this as torture and uses his laser to break the cage and break through the door to save Eve. This causes all of the cages to open, and the robots take advantage of the opportunity to flee. Because the malfunctioning robots regard Wally as their savior, they take him with them, and Eve follows. When they reach a corridor, a group of guard robots stops them and photographs them to raise the alarm. The image appears on all ship screens, warning the populace about rogue robots and the guards' attempts to apprehend them. Eve quickly picks up Wally and flies away, hiding in a window until the guards leave. Eve then takes Wally to the elevator, where he attempts to be friendly. However, she is so enraged by his antics that she shoots a screen to silence him. When the elevator arrives at the hangar, Eve attempts to place Wally in a pod to return him to Earth, but he refuses to go unless Eve also comes. The visitor is a small robot piloted by Otto, who transports the plant back to Earth. Wally rushes into the pod to save the plant, but the little guy activates the pod, and Wally is launched into space. Eve sees the pod explode and thinks it's over, but Wally passes her by using a fire extinguisher as if it were a jetpack. Both robots fly around until they meet in the middle, and Wally reveals that he was able to save the plant. Eve is overjoyed, so she embraces Wally and presses their foreheads together, sharing a small spark of electricity that feels like a kiss. Wally is surprised but delighted, and he uses his extinguisher to dance with Eve through space as they return to the ship. This is noticed by John and Mary, who are finally enjoying the breathtaking view of space, and approaching the window allows them to finally meet. Eve and Wally board the ship again, and Eve sneaks around the ship to avoid the guards, leaving Wally behind. She makes it safely to the captain's room and hands the plant to McRae, who is overjoyed that they can now return to Earth. Eve interrupts him to show him the recordings she made of the planet, and McRae is disappointed to see that Earth isn't the lovely place he saw in the old photographs. When Eve plays Wall E's movie, the sound of music restores McCree's hope, and he decides that if the little plant didn't give up, he shouldn't either. When the movie gets to the part about the hand-holding, Eve starts thinking about it as well. The captain attempts to order the ship back to Earth, but Otto stops him and requests the plant. Otto plays another video after McCray refuses and demands an explanation. The president of Earth declares that the cleanup program was a failure and that toxicity levels make life on Earth unsustainable. This means that the recolonization project has been cancelled, and Directive A113 places the ship on perpetual autopilot so that humans can remain in space. Otto is loyal to A113, which is why it took the plant from Eve the first time it checked on her. McCray notices that this video is around 700 years old, implying that the information is out of date. The robot reacts by tossing the plant into the trash pipe, but Wally climbs out of it with the plant on its head. Eve attempts to reunite with Wally, but the small robot kidnaps her. Wally conceals the plant within his body, but Otto electrocutes him and throws him down the pipe before putting Eve in capsule mode and tossing her as well. Otto then confines McCray to his room to keep him quiet. Eve awakens seconds later as a mouse robot presses her button, finding herself in the garbage disposal room. The machines press the garbage into cubes, which are then thrown into space. Eve frees herself with her gun, but she isn't strong enough to pull Wally out with her, and the cubes are ejected. Mo appears out of nowhere and becomes stuck on the inner door. The force of the ejection assists Eve in removing Wally from the garbage and she returns to Mo. When the garbage robots detect trouble, they immediately close the outer doors. Wally isn't working properly, so Eve goes in search of chips to repair him. Unfortunately, none of these modern pieces are suitable for an old model, so Wally hands Eve the plant and requests that she prioritize the mission. Eve initially refuses, even attempting to hold Wall BLE for an old model, so Wally hands Eve the plant and requests that she prioritize the mission. Eve realizes Earth will have the necessary parts to repair him, so she gathers everyone and returns to the ship's main area. A guard notices them and sounds the alarm, but Eve pushes it away and continues on her way, while the other rogue robots follow her. Otto notices everything on the screens and activates them as additional guards. McCray notices everything as well and begins tinkering with the control panel in order to perform a transmission. Meanwhile, 
McCray displays a picture of the plant on the screen and calls Otto, pretending to be the plant in order to entice the AI to pursue him. McCray jumps on Otto as soon as he enters the room to fight it, and during the struggle, he kicks the little robot through the window. After much pulling, he manages to reach the control and activate the ship's traveling mode. Now the robots begin to prepare the humans for sleep during their return to Earth. The plant's special capsule opens in the middle of the ship, but just as Eve and Wally are about to reach it, Otto pushes McCray off and steers the ship to cause the plant to fall. All of the humans fall out of their chairs, and Mary and John must collaborate to save a slew of babies. Two transporting couches begin to fall as well, but Eve stops them before anyone is crushed. When Otto turns off the special capsule, Wally rushes to keep it running. The captain then repositions the ship, and Eve goes to check on Wally while instructing everyone to look for the plant. Mo, the rogue robots, and the humans collaborate to recover the plant and place it in the capsule. This reactivates the returning program and relieves Wally of the pressure. The ship performs a hyper jump and returns to Earth in less than 10 seconds. Eve immediately takes Wally to his home and fixes him, shooting a hole in the ceiling to allow sunlight to recharge. Wally awakens, but Eve is devastated to discover that he does not recognize her, even after she shows him his collection and the movie. Wally appears to have lost his personality and is now working like any other robot. Eve approaches him to say one last goodbye by holding his hand and giving him a small electric kiss, while personality E gradually returns while McCray demonstrates how to grow the plant for the humans. Robots and humans collaborated to rebuild their society using much more environmentally friendly methods.